welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you problem 4.20 the statement of problem is that knowing that for the extruded beam shown the allowable stress is 120 megapascal in tension and 150 megapascal in compression determine the largest couple that can be applied so this is the beam and this is the cross section of the beam uh, Allowable stress for tension is 120 megapascal and for compression it is 150 megapascal. You are you have been asked to determine the movement that can be applied to the beam. So given in given data we have uh, allowable stress in due to tension that is given as 120 megapascal and allowable stress due to compression that is given as 150 megapascal. So, and you have to find the couple, largest couple that can be applied to this beam. So let's start with the solution. As you know that it is given the cross section of the beam. So you can see that this is the uh, rectangular be uh, beam and in which a square cutout is given. So uh, the basically this problem will be solved in three steps the first one is you have to find the centroid of this centroidal axis of this beam the second is that you have to find the moment of inertia for that beam and the third step in third step you are going to find the moment for this beam so we will start from the first portion to find the centroid of that beam so as we have uh, two portion in the beam the first one is rectangular the second one is a uh, square cut out so I will write it over here the first one is a square solid rectangular let's say I take the first one as solid rectangular rectangular and the second one is square cut out square cut out means that uh, square shape is subtracted throughout its length so the second one is square cut out as we can see that the dimension of this solid rectangular is 48 multiplied by this length which is 48 and 48 this total length is 96 so the area of this solid rectangular is 48 uh, 48 multiplied by 96 let's give you 4608 4608 millimeter square the, the dimensions are in millimeter similarly the square cut out you can see that this is square cut this is 36 and this is also 36 so the area of square cut out is 36 multiplied by 36 which is equal to 1 one two nine six as this is uh, we have to subtract for finding the total area we have to subtract this from this area so we, i will write a negative sign over here in order to show that it is subtracted similarly we have to find y naught dash so if you are going to take the largest or uh, rectangle solid rectangular so the half of that will be at a distance of 48 so basically this distance is from the base this distance is y naught uh, sorry y1 y naught 1 dash uh, you can see y1 so this is 48 mm so i will just write over here 48 and this is in mm similarly for this uh, square cutout, if you, this is the mid of this square cutout. So this distance from this point to this point, this is y2 dash. Now how will you will find that? So you can see that this is total from this point to this point, it is 48. And if you subtract 48, from, uh, if you subtract 36 from 48 this remaining is 12 this distance is 12 so 12 and the half of 36 is 
this distance is from this point till this point. This distance is 18. So if you add this and this distance, this distance and this distance, that, that is y2 and that is equal to 30 mm. So y2 is 30 mm. Similarly, we have some of, uh, we have the product of area into y naught dash. So if you multiply 48 with this 4608, so you will have 2, 2, 1, 1, 8, 4. And if you multiply this with this, so you will have minus 3, 8, 8, 8, 0. So now you have to find sum of area. So sum of area, so the, the total area of this beam will be the area of this solid rectangular minus the area of this square cut out. So if you subtract uh, 1296 from 4608, it will give you the total area of this beam. That is 3312 square millimeter. And similarly, if you you have also the addition of these two, so that will be also, if you add these two, so that will give you 182304. Now we have both the value, we are, we will find the centroidal axis, the location of centroidal axis of this beam. And we know that this is equal to this. We have both the values 1, 8, 2, 3, 0, 4 divided by 3, 3, 1, 2. And when you do this calculation, you will have 55.04 mm. Now, this means that if I draw it over here, this is a rectangular be, uh, cross section and this is a square cut out. From this point to this, this point, this is 48 and the rest is also from this point to this point is 48. So your location of centroidal axis will be somewhere here, roughly. So from the base till centroidal axis, this distance is y dash. And this y dash. Y dash. And that is 55.04. So we have uh, we have find out the centroidal axis of this beam. Now we will move toward for finding the moment of inertia I. We will find the moment of inertia of this beam. Before this, we will also determine the y top and y bottom. So y top and y bottom. Y top is the distance from centroidal axis to the topmost. So this is centroidal axis and this is centroidal axis and from this to this point this is known as Y top. And this Y top is equal to uh, 40, 48 plus 48 total 96 minus 55.04. So Y top is 96 minus 55.04. And this distance comes out to be 40.96, 40.96 mm. And similarly, y bottom is the same distance from neutral axis to the top bottom most, and that is minus 55.04 mm. For moment of inertia, as we we can see that we have divided this into two portion. This one was solid rectangular, and this second one is square cut out. So definitely, this total inertia of the beam is equal to I one minus 
I2. You have to subtract the moment of inertia of second square cut out from the moment of inertia of solid rectangular. So first we will find I1. So I1 is equal to 1 over 12 B1 H1 cube plus A1, A1 D1 square. So we will put the value 1 over 12 into B is total breadth is you can see from about total width is 48 mm. Clear? So total width is 48 mm. So that is 48 and total height is 96. So Q plus A1 is 4608 that is given over here. This is A1. Now D1 square. Now what is D1? So if this is the rectangular cross section, so the half of it will be 48. Clear? So D1 is distance between centroidal axis from this point to the mid of this. So this is D1. And it can be found by subtracting 48 from, if you minus 48 from 55.04. So that will be 55.04 minus 48. That is something 7.04. So if you calculate all this value, I1 comes out to be 3.76 into 10 raised to power 6 mm4. Now for I2, I2 is equal to 1 over 12 B2 H2 cube plus A2 into D2 square. 1 over 12, the breadth of this square cut out is 36. So 1 over 12 into 36 and height is also 36 cube. Plus area A2 was 1296. 1296. Now, what about D2? So, if the, the mid of this is, if this is, uh, the height of this is also 36, so midpoint is at a distance of 18 from this point. Clear? So, you have to find the distance from neutral axis to the mid of this. So, if I extend over here, so this distance is actually D2 and this D2 is equal to 55 minus this distance was this, this this from this point to this point we have already find this is 30. So D2 is equal to uh, 55.04 minus 30. Hold so basically this distance is 25.04. So if you calculate it, the value of I2 comes out to be 0 0.952 into 10 raised to power 6 mm4. Now you can find the total inertia of beam that is equal to I1 minus I2. So you have to put the value. 3.76 into 10 raised to power 6 minus 0 0.952 into 10 raised to power 6. So when you subtract it, the value of I that come is 2.814 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter 4. We have already converted. All these values are in mm power 4 and last value is converted into the meter. So this is the moment of inertia of this beam. Solid uh, rectangular beam, beam having a square cut out. Now we will move toward the th third portion that is to find the moment. So as we know that stress is equal to m into y divided by I. 
so definitely for finding moment we have stress into stress into i divided by y so for tension for tension this stress uh, sorry the, the moments the value of moment is in stress we will put the stress in tension that is 120 mega pascal so 120 into 10 raised to power 6 i is 2.814 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter or divide by y top so we will take y top so y top is 40.96 millimeter so we will convert into it into meter and that will be 0 0.04096 so we will after calculation we will have moment 8.25 into 10 raised to power 3 newton into meter so this is the value of moment due to tensile stress or stress due to tension in the top most layer in the top layers now for finding moment due to compression compressive stresses in the bottom layers so this moment will be equal to stress into i divided by y and that is equal to the stress due to compression is 150 mega pascal i is same that is 2.814 into 10 raised to power minus 6 and y bottom so as compression is at the bottom so y bottom is minus 55.04 and when you convert it into meter that will be equal to minus 0 0.05504 so when you calculate all this value the value of moments comes out to be 7.67 into 10 to power 3 newton meter now we have two value of moments one is due to tension this one is due to tension and this one the moment this one is due to compressive stresses so we will choose the we will choose the smallest one just m and that is 7.67 into 10 to the power 3 newton meter and this is the largest couple the value of largest couple that can be applied to the beam so this m is 7.67 kilo newton into meter so this amount of movement that can be applied to the B. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question, you can ask in comment section.